Do you see this current escalation and uh, a military conflict as a result of U.S. failed diplomacy, or is it Netanyahu's government trying to drag the U.S. into a bigger war? No, so there, Israel is one party of this conflict, and Hezbollah is the other party of this conflict. When you look at the, the conflict in the north, it's a conflict that Hezbollah started on October 8th, that they could have ended any day since then. It's not a conflict that Israel starts, it's a conflict that Hezbollah started, that they could have stopped by stopping firing rockets. So I will say, as I said in response to an uh, earlier question, we've been at similar situations over the past 12 months where situations were incredibly high and it looked like we might get into a full-scale war. And the combination of our deterrence and diplomacy and the hard work, not just of the United States, but our allies and partners in the region has been, has been successful in preventing that from happening, uh, which is never a, a, um, a prediction of future success. But to us, it tells us that we ought to stay at it and keep working and stay at the diplomacy and the deterrence, work with our partners. And that's what we're going, we are going to continue to do.